So Samsung Galaxy Y6 plays nice with the iPhone. It's today's video. So today I want to introduce my Samsung Galaxy Y6 to the iPhone. And is it compatible to be able to work together? Well, what's up? You already know me, I'm Mr. Noble. So today I want to talk to you about the 15% of us that actually use the basic features on any smartwatch, whether it be a Samsung, or Apple Watch, or Google, or Google Pixel Watch, or anything like that, or any other kind of watch that's out there. So basically what I'm saying is most of us just basically use our watches for just looking at the simple functionalities of the smartwatch in the first place. And those functionalities is not limited, but gives us access to be able to listen to music, being able to resume playback from our phones to our watches, or sometimes newer features to try out. Uh, occasionally, a help function here and there, which 85% of the world uh, mostly buys a smartwatch for it, to use it for jogging, for exercise, for health reasons. But how I use my watch, I basically use my watch just for the simple functionalities. And I don't always have my watch on. So if I'm home, I really don't use my watch unless I'm leaving the house most of the time. Or I might, like I said, I might be listening to some music. So let me tell you how I use my Samsung Galaxy smartwatch. That I decided to pair it instead of a Samsung phone. I wanted to use it on my iPhone because I like my iPhone. And I also use it on my new Fold 5 that I picked up. But I mostly use my iPhone for the majority of the things like calls and text messages and listen to music and stuff like that. I use my phone for more of productivity and uh, playing games and stuff like that for the bigger screen, which I'm, eventually you'll see that review come out for the Samsung Galaxy Fold 5. And then I'm planning on getting the Samsung Galaxy Fold 6 this year in July when it's released. So stay tuned for that video. So the Galaxy Y6 that's paired along with my iPhone, that's supposed to be no longer supported on iPhones since the last Galaxy, uh, last compatible Galaxy watch was the Watch 3, was the last compatible one, and the uh, Galaxy wearable app, you're not able to use that one on, the, on iPhones anymore. Uh, either Samsung or Apple decide to change that, but I found a way to be able to work my Samsung watch with, with any phone. That gives me another option to use. So I can still use either my Samsung watch or I can use my Apple watch. And the way it's compatible is through Bluetooth. Yeah, we all think Bluetooth is, is long gone when it comes to uh, pairing things together or using it for shareable things. Uh, we mostly like to use Wi-Fi data, but actually the, the Bluetooth functionality is getting better. Uh, eventually it will go on to something else, but not to get off the subject, you're able to turn on Bluetooth with and turn on Bluetooth with the Samsung watch, even if you have data on the watch, it's still compatible uh, along with this app. I've tested this app on a number of iPhones from the iPhone 10, the iPhone 11. I don't have a 12 on my 13, iPhone 13, my iPhone 14. And presently, I, I didn't pick up the iPhone 15, so I don't know about the iPhone 15, but I'm pretty sure that it's compatible with that one too. So let me just tell you, 
for me, this Samsung watch is not just a smart watch for me. It, 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 it helps me with a lot of different things. And it became a great companion compared to my Apple Watch uh, when I'm using my iPhone. Because, uh, like I said, I like to use my iPhone more. It became my music buddy when listening to my favorite songs or tracks, uh, my playlist. And it helps me stay connected without having to pull out my iPhone out of my pocket so much. So the only reason why I really use a smartwatch is, like I said, for basic functionality. Uh, to get my important notifications, to listen to music when using my iPhone. Why I didn't get another Apple Watch? Cause I wanted to try a different, a different form factor, a different design uh, than the boring Squarish Apple Watch. To make watch calls or to receive or send text messages right from my wrist. Now, if you go on a Play Store on, on the Samsung Watch, you can download the app that I'm referring to, uh, but you have to download it from the actual Samsung watch because you can't download it on an Android phone and you can't download it on an iPhone. You have to actually download it on the watch you're using. And the watch app is called Merge. So you download Merge, which gives you the ability to connect to any smartphone. Now let's talk about some features that I like on my new edition Samsung Galaxy Watch 6. And here's the first one. You can put apps into folders with just a long press and swipe. You can also switch phones easily from iPhone to Android with the Merge app. The ease of use with swiping from all four directions and up gives you the app draw. Down gives you the status bar. With the toggles like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, data, etc., etc., and left gives you all your widgets you added with the plus sign, and swiping right gives you all your notifications. Once they're red, you just swipe up to clear all, or swipe up to clear one at a time. So especially love that you can customize the buttons with shortcuts to do different things like Google Assistant or reboot the watch or a specific app that you need by a press or a press and hold from the top button. And the back button, the bottom button for the back button. I could choose a different option, which makes it for me the perfect smartwatch device to own. I definitely recommend the design and the comfort that it offers. So if you want to change from that old boring design that the Apple Watch gives us, has been around for years, and you're definitely looking for a change to a more circular design with a bigger face, so just go ahead and get you a Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 because life's too short for those old born watch shapes and screen designs. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.